Holmes, what are you doing here? What are you planning? A mission of my own. You must play the role of the conscientious doctor while I sneak inside Marsh's house. That's the only way of helping little Tom. Oh. Hey guys, Risky here, and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. It, it, the cutscene ended so abruptly, I wasn't sure it actually ended at all. Okay, so I probably shouldn't walk through the front door. I'm guessing. <clears throat> I feel like that would do away with a lot of sneakiness. Okay, can I, can I sneak manually? Or is that just something he automatically does? Oh, it's something he automatically does. Gotcha. The window is firmly shut. Well, the window can suck a dick. What about the door? Oh, dear God. Use the correct lock picks to lift the lock plates and create an unobstructed path for the warden pen. Okay. 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 There's no space for this lockpick. There's no space for this lockpick. Oh, we're moved. There we go. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay. I think I'll get the hang of it as we do it more. I hope. How can I help you? I came to visit Lord Marsh. What for? I would very much like to see Lord Marsh, if you please. Oh, you're so clumsy. Can you please not- I have to visit Lord Marsh and offer him my services. Fisher, please allow Dr. Watson to enter. Good job, Watson. That could have been bad. I can hide what? Here. Okay, I can hide here. What? Okay, right there we go. Clearly, ooh, painting. Hanging crookedly. Fingerprints. Okay, well, I kind of want to look around at everything else first. Since I now know that's important. <clears throat> Is there anything else I need to f focus on? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I think we're good. <clears throat> Ooh. Lord Marsh is a keen hunter. That, that's all we get from that, okay. What is this? Huh. Wait. <laughs> okay. To this day, and by my estimation, the special education program has saved over 200 individual individuals from the gutter and elevated them to help form and support the critical foundations of our prosperous empire. That's sounding a little culty. <clears throat> this is largely thanks to the wisdom and foresight of Lord Marsh, who is a most progressive and wise politician. He has carried out a great deal of work in this field whilst ignoring the critics and any hindrance from his arrogant colleagues who are so set in their ways. Okay. <clears throat> okay, they really want me to make a connection here. See kind of Marsh's house, okay. Um Yeah. Tournament Club Hunters, Lord Marsh and his friends are skillful and experienced hunters. Okay. Alright, we happy? Cool. Oh, is stuff hidden under stuff? Is that what the point is? Dear Lord Collins, it is clear to me that we can learn a great many things about running uh, the Empire from those whom we trample underfoot. These same people whom we leave destitute and starving in the shadows of our own cities at home or abroad. I mean, yeah. Not seeing anything wrong there. 
Okay, so was there something under this I missed? What is this? Dear Lord Marsh, thanks to the special education program, my life has been changed completely. Didn't know how to thank you, so I picked you this flower. Thank you. Okay. Some sums off. I'm also high, so I could be reading too hard into it. Maybe nothing happened here at all. Doctor, it appears that you were impatient to pay me another visit. Indeed. Will you allow me to examine you? A second opinion, so that the great Lord Marsh does not become the late Lord Marsh. <laughs> well, since you put it that way, very well. Shall I retire to your office, Lord Marsh? No, please, Doctor. I insist that you stay. I shall need your assistance. Will you break anything else? I'll try my best. Okay. Oh, oh, I need to be quick. Oh, I need to hide. Oh, shit. Mr. Holmes? What are you doing here? Okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, let's try this again. I wasn't... Didn't break anything else? I'll try my best. Now that I know what's going on. Okay. did it. And we live to tell the tale. Rotate the safe dial and locate the area of clear sound feedback to confirm the correct safe combination. Okay. I shouldn't be moving this, I don't think. Where is this? Hold on. Can I, like, see the directions again? <laughs> okay. It's fine. Okay, so I can't... I can only rotate the numbers. I can't rotate the other dials. Okay. Good to know. Gotcha, gotcha. I understand now. Oh, that helps tremendously. Go back to zero <laughs> and then go uh, counterclockwise from there. Oop. All right, we did it after 20 years. We did it. I so admire all of these poppers. They seem to me such a breath of fresh air. Communicating with them is such a pleasure, and they are so smart, not like us. Perhaps it is they who should have been lords, and we the simple commoners, Lord Harrington. Okay. November 7th. This means that the meeting is planned for today. Oh, shit. 
Meaning starts at Grunston's Oak. I've attached a map to this letter so that you may find the place easily. <laughs> Thanks, Collins. Appreciate ya. Okay. Uh. Missing. All participants of the S group from the special education program could be missing. Yikes. Mr. Hurst knew. George Hurst knew about some of the people who had gone missing from the special education program. All right, I guess that's what we're working with right now. Hmm, I'd suggest that your current weakness is perhaps more than a simple case of influenza, Lord Marsh. <coughs> Where might your companion be, Dr. Watson? Oh, he's busy poking his nose into other people's business, I'm sure. <clears throat> My lord, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I must remind you about your meeting. Is it already time? My apologies, Dr. Watson, but we are expected elsewhere. Might we offer you a lift? You are going out. I'm not sure that's wise in your condition. I value your opinion, but misery never rests and I am needed. Well, do please take good care of yourself, Lord Marsh. I'll send you my diagnosis, Dr. Fisher. Thank you, Dr. Watson. Farewell. Hmm. I don't trust it. I don't trust it whatsoever. Okay, so we need to go find out where this place is on the map, and we need to perform an analysis on Lord Marsh's handkerchief. I'm excited. <clears throat> These loading screens, though, they are really something else. I do feel the graphics are improved, though, over Crimes and Punishments. I mean, I think Sherlock looks better. I think. Watson also looks better. They both look younger. So I don't know. I think this Sherlock looks closer to chapter one Sherlock. Like neither of them really look like chapter one Sherlock, but he looks more like chapter one Sherlock than Crimes and Punishment Sherlock does. Okay, let's do the, um, Chemical analysis. What? I'm strong. Watson, what are you doing at my table? I just need to check one thing about Lord Marsh. My intuition tells me that Lord Marsh is hiding something about his disease. His cough, in addition to his fever and his usage of strong painkillers, leads me to believe that he is seriously ill. I wonder if it's the TB. Let's study it more closely. Okay. Not a huge fan of the word sputum. Okay, can I get the pipe bit? Uh. Okay. Let us apply chemicals to cut this up. Oh, gotcha. <clears throat> Um, how about, how about some of this? This chemical should be applied second. Noted. Um, methylate blue, carbol fusion. Okay. And then you said alcohol second, acid alcohol to be exact. And then finally, some methylene blue. Couldn't fucking hurt. Now, let's examine the colored sample. Okay. 
an old school microscope. Probably state of the art at the time. Examine the stain in detail and look for unusual elements. Okay. I assume. Oh, what the fuck is that? I come back to you because the road marsh is serious. Damn. Throws one cough away from death. Holmes, this is no longer a laughing matter. It is just as I feared Lord Marsh is suffering from tuberculosis. You don't say. Yes, I do say. And Holmes, he will die if he is not transferred to a sanatorium as soon as possible. And yet both Lord Marsh and Dr. Fisher are doing their best to hide this fact. How interesting. But why? Why indeed, Watson. Oh, but... Oh, dear God. You don't think that Lord Marsh contracted tuberculosis while aiding the poor? How terrible. I have a commitment that I can't possibly cancel. Holmes, during my absence, please be extremely careful. This disease is highly contagious. And remember that we have women at home. I called it. I knew it was the TB. I knew it. Thank you, Miss Alice. Until later. I'll see you soon, Caitlin. Where have you been? Our neighbor lent me a book. She is so kind. I think she likes you. <laughs> I doubt that. How is your investigation going? It's going. Dracula? Yes. It's forbidden reading at my boarding school. Did you know? Well, well. Well, well. Sweet slumber after a hard working day. On my pillow. Yo, Dilby, you're so good. Okay, what do you want? This is so romantic. Oh, right, we need to look at the map. I forgot. A map of London and its surroundings. Could be useful. Oh, I have to look it up, don't I? Um. Where would I examine Granston's oak? Maybe in the encyclopedias? Newspapers, research. Chemistry, poisons, and toxins, wounds, and injuries. Criminalistics? No, maybe this. Oh, it's not what I meant to do. Maybe it's in the newspapers. I don't know what year though. Oh damn it! I keep keep pressing the wrong button. Um, anything about Grunston? Grunston's oak. Sure, what? What I'm really looking for here. So I'm not seeing anything about Granston's Oak. Crescent's oak is a strange and mysterious tree that grows in Epping Forest. Oh. Well, I thought it was like a like a place, like a building, a, a fucking I don't know, a conference hall or something where important shit goes down. I didn't okay. I didn't know it was a fucking tree. Grunston's Oak is a strange, mysterious tree that grows in Ebbing Forest. The origin of its name is unconfirmed, although there are many legends and fables connected with it. Some people say that over centuries, witches perform their ceremonies near this tree, and these rites have assured that whoever may touch the trunk, trunk of Grunston's Oak will be cursed for all time. It is. Jesus. Grunston's Oak is in Epping Forest. That's the place indicated on George Hurst's map. Okay. So now we can look for it on the map, right? If 
not, I'm gonna be upset. Let's try to find the place from the hand drawn map. Okay. Derby -der. I know it's somewhere in a forest. Oh, this is all a forest. Okay, never mind. Maybe no. I'm trying to find an intersection where like three, three parts of it intersect. I'm not seeing anything yet. Plus I'm not sure what that on the bottom right is. Skipping this to you, I don't fucking know. Here it is. Right. Oh. I need to hurry if I want to find out what's going on in the forest. I wouldn't have figured that out in a million years. <laughs> Would have been five episodes later, and we'd still be sitting here. Does he come here very often? He helps occasionally in some of my cases. Why do you ask? I'd like to talk to him. Talk to him? Father, back at school there are only girls to talk to, and they are so boring. I'm sure Wiggins has lots of exciting stories to tell about his life in London. It would be so romantic. Caitlin, you know that Wiggins hasn't had the most fortunate life. That only makes him more interesting. Oh, Kate. I'll leave you alone now. Yeah, you do that. You leave me alone. You're a fucking weirdo. Like, he's an actual human being, not something for you f to be interesting for you. Like, fuck you. I did quotations with three fingers. Okay, anyway. Okay, a map and invitation. George Hurst had belonged to the Lobat Scouts Marksman Unit. Okay. And what about it? Go to Ebbing Forest. Lord Marsh and his companions entered the forest that was indicated on George Hurst's map to hold a meeting. Okay, what if we like switch on some of these? Let's say not connected. Yay, 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 yay. And maybe we'll switch this around. Switch this around. Oh, well that can't change right now, okay. Okay, all right, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Maybe we'll find some of them more out later. So I don't know, I wanna... I wanna play around with these possibilities more. All right, let's go to Epping Forest. Oh, there's actually like a whole place now, okay. Well, I didn't want all that. I just wanna go to Epping Forest. Thank you very much. Wow, I took a hit before I started recording, and it is, it is hitting. Speaking of, on that note, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys next time.